This is a story about a time-traveling boy named Jacob, who leads a group of peculiar children with supernatural abilities, and Miss Peregrine, their teacher and caregiver who is stuck in bird form, from Cairnholm Island to Wales during World War II to escape the whites who are trying to kill them. Among the children are Emma, who controls fire, Bronwyn, who has super strength, Enoch, who can transfer life between things, Horace, who has premonitions and dreams, Hugh, who controls bees, Olive, who can float, Fiona, who can control plants, and Claire, who has two mouths. When they arrive on shore, they only manage to bring with them a trunk that contains a book of peculiar tales. The whites chase the children, but they hide in the woods. The children find a time loop at a nearby lake, and on the other side of the time loop, they encounter a hologhast, a monstrous creature that likes to eat peculiars. The children kill the hologhast and meet Addison, a peculiar dog who is intelligent. Addison tells the children that Miss Wren, another powerful peculiar, flew to London to help other peculiars from hologhast and white attacks. Addison warns the children that if Miss Peregrine doesn't get help soon, she'll permanently become a bird. Fiona and Claire decide to stay with Addison as the rest of the children travel back through the time loop to go to London to find Miss Wren for help. On their way to London, the children encounter a traveling group of gypsies. The gypsies help hide the children from a search party of whites. The children get to the nearest train station but are captured by whites, except for Hugh, who hides, and Miss Peregrine, who makes it on the train in the trunk. The children are taken to a small cabin by the whites and are questioned as to the whereabouts of Miss Peregrine. Suddenly, Hugh comes back to rescue the children, summoning a swarm of bees to attack and kill the whites. The children then make their way to London by train. When the children arrive in London, the train station is busy and crowded. After failing to get help from any peculiars over the phone, the children head to the heart of the city to avoid any holograms and to find peculiar pigeons for help in finding Miss Wren. As the city is continuously bombed by the Germans, the children end up at a large cathedral, where they find a time loop and meet Melina, a girl with telekinetic powers, Winnie, her peculiar pigeon, and the Bone Brothers, little boys who see using echolocation. Bombs continue to explode around the children as they run away from two pursuing hologhasts. The children hide in a nearby house where they meet two sisters, Sam, a peculiar girl who can regenerate her body, and Esma. As the two hologhasts enter the house, a bomb explodes, killing the hologhasts and destroying the structure of the house. The children are unhurt because they are wearing bulletproof sweaters, and Sam and Esma remain safe, though decide not to join the children to find Miss Wren. Winnie the Pigeon leads the children through another time loop, which takes them to a carnival. After watching a sideshow at the carnival, the children walk to a building that is encased in ice. There, they encounter Miss Wren, who takes them inside the protection of the ice building and explains that she's been rescuing peculiars and hiding them in the building since she arrived in London. The children meet Althea, who has the ability to produce ice. Miss Wren is happy to see Miss Peregrine, even if only in bird form, and says that she'll need time to fix her. The children meet the other peculiars in the building, including a clown, a contortionist, and a snake charmer. They examine a few of the peculiars in the building receiving medical attention, and determine that the whites are extracting peculiar powers and using them on hologhast, which allows these evolved hologhast to travel through time loops. The children decide to join in the fight against the hologhast, except Emma tells Jacob that when Miss Peregrine is revived, he should go back to his time, and he reluctantly agrees. The next day, when Miss Peregrine is about to transform back into her human form, an imposter, Miss Peregrine's brother, Call, appears. Call says that it's all been a trap and that the real Miss Peregrine has already been captured. Althea is killed and the rest of the children are captured by the Whites. They are all taken through a time loop that brings them back to Jacob's time. The children are loaded into a train cart, but Emma and Jacob escape. A soul hologhast approaches Emma and Jacob as Addison appears and drags them to safety in a phone booth. In the end, as the hologhast attacks them, Jacob speaks to the hologhast in its native tongue and it backs down. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.